Today we're going to look at a project I did as a graduation present for my stepson who plays drums. And I decided to make him some drumsticks after watching Steve Carmichael's video. I'll leave a link in the description for that. And uh, uh, my own spin on it was to make it a laminated drumstick. And these drumsticks were going to have a piece of maple in the center with two pieces of walnut sandwiched in the piece of maple in between. And I'm just cutting to about three quarter inches square here so that I have uh, a piece of a stock material to turn on a lathe. So I'm speeding it up here to about eight speed and using the Easy Wood Tools Easy Finisher to do most of the carving. I think all of the carving on this to turn it down. And one thing I noticed with my lathe was that uh, the tool rest is a little bit short for what I needed here. And I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. In my previous video, I showed how I made this simple steady rest that I'm gonna be using to help keep the center from flexing too much as I'm carving down this long piece. This piece is about 18 inches long. And so I found it was flexing a little bit when I, I did uh, two or three trial drumsticks with some maple before this. And in my trial and error, I realized that I needed to turn my, turn my drumstick at the highest speed of this lathe. Otherwise, I was getting too much uh, chip out and shatter and things like that. So at the higher speed, it sort of worked. Now I'm kind of new to turning, so this is uh, maybe the fifth or sixth thing I've ever turned on a lathe before. And so doing it at a high speed, you know, it was a little intimidating at first, but I got used to it and I realized that it's a lot safer for this diameter. The thinner the material, the higher the speed you want to use on the lathe. So turning this drumstick was a challenge. And, and the, the biggest challenge really is when you get down to the really small tip and make sure, making sure that you don't push too hard and make it too thin where it snaps off. So you have to be pretty delicate and take your time. And I found as the... Um, as I tried to do the taper, that it was hard to match that taper onto the second stick. So I'm, I'm just, um, due to time, I was trying to get this done for a graduation present. So I didn't really get to get a full documentation of, of turning both sticks. I have one that I got some video on here that I'm showing you. And then I, I worked on doing a matching stick. Um, I used a, the maple practice stick as my guide to figure out the diameter, but uh, besides using the uh, calipers, I really didn't do uh, much measuring, just kind of eyed it up. And uh, again, getting it to match, getting both sticks to match exactly was a little difficult, but it uh, didn't seem to matter because they came out they came out really nice. I didn't get a final shot of both of them together, but the idea was I wanted to get them done before the my, my stepson's um, music banquet, and I gave them to him as a, as a present at the music banquet, and then the next day we were gonna be playing a benefit show uh, for cancer relay for life cancer walk and we were going to be playing outside and I thought it'd be cool to have him try those new drumsticks on that gig so we only do that but once a year that I get to really play with him with some friends and uh, so I included a clip at the end you can see him using the sticks for the first time and uh, jamming away on a drum solo and then if you stick with the video till the very end you'll see us doing a kind of an improvised little jam at the end which was uh, one of the one of the real fun things I I, I enjoy doing with uh, with my stepson. It's uh, a lot of fun to be able to do something like that. I finished up the drumstick with some 100 grit sandpaper first, down to 220, and then I'm going to be putting on some boiled linseed oil as a finish. And I thought I'd try that out. I do like boiled linseed oil on a lot of my tool handles and things, and I thought I'd try that as opposed to um, some kind of poly or something like that. Again, I'm kind of new to turning very new to turning so this is something I thought I'd experiment with and it turned out it turned out nice the the boiled linseed oil does bring out some nice grain in the wood and it also gives it a nice feel so then I just after I was done there I cut the tip off and then the end and then I sanded them on the uh, belt sander I didn't show that but then that here's what one of the final sticks look like um, from some different angles and you can see the stripe down the middle and it, and it came out really uh, sweet looking and he loved them. He thought they were nice and light. So here's a clip of him on his drum solo. 